Hello everybody, welcome back to Lighthearted Life in Collectibles. And of course, you know, the collectible I'm going to be showcasing today is Baby Skylar, Little Devin Skylar, and uh, my favorite son back there in the background, Don't Grow Up, It's a Trap. You're never too old to play with dolls, so don't let anybody tell you any differently. Enjoy your dolls and love them and have fun with them and enjoy your life. That's it's my motivational speech for the day. But I'm gonna just go over all of Baby Skylar's little details for you and uh, just tell you how his first night home went. It went beautifully. Um, he did great settling in at home. I sent a video of him um, to his um, adoption agent <laughs> of him on my hip because basically last night when I came home, I literally walked around with him on my hip just doing stuff. Like, I couldn't put him down. Just, it wasn't possible. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> but with this bundle of sweetness, I mean, that's just to be expected. He is just, oh my gosh, he's just beautiful and awesome. He has the sweetest little details which we will go over um, they're gonna be very descriptive um, so yeah we're not gonna leave any detail undiscovered with this sweet baby and then he's gonna get dressed in this adorable little outfit these are um, outfits that you saw me do in his nesting video about a month or so ago it was a Carter's haul but he's gonna have on this little white sleeveless onesie underneath you know to cover up his little cloth body and then he's going to have this little outfit that says dynamite and it's aqua green with these little uh white navy blue and aqua plaid sh shorts and then there's navy blue dinosaurs all over in little tiny patterns all over the little outfit i'm definitely going to do something to improve the lighting situation in here. I have my ring light on, I have the ceiling fan light on in here, and of course the windows have the kind of curtains that lets a lot of light in, but for some reason, because my light source is behind where I'm changing, whenever I put a camera up, it like casts a shadow from like where the, the um, tripod and stuff is. So um, I'm gonna work on getting some more lighting in here so I can have lighting coming in from all different directions because I just want my lighting to be perfect, especially when I'm showing off this little cutie. But, um, so yeah, we're going to start going over his details. He has on his little onesie that says Doodlebugs Reborn Nursery. It's a little small for him. I don't know how she got it on him <laughs> because this baby wears a six months and I looked at the tag on this and it said newborn. I was like, holy cow, how did she get this on him? <laughs> so what we're going to do, I'm going to sit him up and I'm going to pull this uh, onesie off of him and um, pause it while I do that. And then when I come back, you're just going to see him sitting there in his little cloth body. Okay, so I took the phone off the tripod for this because I want to be able to give you the best angles so that you can see all the details. I've still got my ring light over here and I've got the light on to shine on him. So, um, so you'll be able to see everything really well. But yeah, I'm still really disappointed with this lighting in here. I don't know how I can make it better, but I'm definitely going to improve it because, I mean, it's a sunny day outside. I have curtains that allow light to come through. So, yeah, this is about as good as it's going to get, I guess. But, um, Skylar's overall appearance, I'm going to put a picture of the real baby Skylar at six months old, which is what this doll was designed after, so that you can just see how much this sculpt, the Maddie by Bonnie Brown, looks like Skylar as a baby. Now, I know it's not perfect because, I mean, of course, it's not an exact sculpture of him, but, I mean, my gosh, it's just so close that it just brings back so many memories. So his overall appearance is he's a happy, smiling baby. He has strawberry blonde hair and dark blue eyes. He's very chunky. He weighs 11 pounds. 
um, a little over 11. It's like 11.2 pounds. So um, if he were a real baby, I would guess his weight to be about 20 pounds, 19 to 20 pounds if he were real. He wears six month size clothing, a size two shoe. And yeah, so that's his overall appearance and his size and all that. So we are going to just zoom in on this hair here. This alpaca hair, oh my gosh, it is thebomb.com. It feels like feathers. It just has this feathery, soft, it lays flat to the head. It's perfect for fine baby hair. Perfect. So um, she gets it from a supplier in Russia, Megan does. So I believe that's what she told me. She sent me a sample of it in the mail just so I could feel it. And oh my goodness, this is the softest alpaca hair I have ever felt since I've been collecting dolls. So I highly recommend this type of hair for fine baby hair if you're needing this kind of look. So Skylar's hair, it didn't have a part or anything in it. And he had this little widow's peak going in the front. And I sent her pictures and videos of his hair. And I'm telling you, she did an impeccable job of copying his hairstyle and rooting the hair just like his. Because his hair just grew straight down. Like I said, he didn't have a part or anything like that. He just had this cute little widow's peak in the middle of his head. And she, she did phenomenal copying that. Like doing that exactly the way his hair was. I can't get over it. Like when I opened him yesterday in my little um, role play video. And the first thing I said was, oh my gosh, his hair is perfect. It was because even though it was staticky and sticking up everywhere because he had a blanket on his head. I could see how beautifully rooted it is. It's mono rooted. And I mean, my goodness, it's gorgeous. So it's short, straight, strawberry blonde, alpaca, mohair, and it's feather soft. I love it. And so then she did his little eyebrows and the real baby Skylar had very uh, fine honey blonde eyebrows that you could see them up close. But if you got farther back, you couldn't. And in pictures, they practically disappeared. So she did really, really good. Um, once again, I did a little video of a baby picture of Skylar because there weren't any digital cameras back then. So trying to zoom in on pictures, it kind of blurs, you know what I mean? Like when you, um, especially when you're taking a picture of a picture. So I did a high resolution video of a baby picture of Skylar just so she could see his eyebrows really well. And she got the shape and the shape is on fleek. I'm just saying <laughs> she got it. Perfect. The coloring is perfect. I love it. Um, and he has these deep, dark blue eyes just like the real baby Skylar had. And then he's got painted bottom lashes and rooted upper lashes, and they're done in black. Because that's just how Skylar's eyelashes were. They were dark. His eyebrows were honey blonde, and then his hair was strawberry blonde. So he had like a little combination of everything going there. And they have larger pupils. And his eyes are definitely like a, a beautiful little like almond shape, I guess you would say. And there's these cute little laugh creases under each eye where he's smiling. Um, his head is a larger head. It's not as big as Archer's, though. And the forehead is a little pronounced, which that's exactly how Skylar's was. He had like the um, the little um, temple bones, I guess you could say. They, they kind of stick out just a little. And then um, the forehead bone kind of sticks out a little bit over the bridge of his nose. And then he has this sweet little smile. It's almost like he's kind of shy, but his lips are slightly parted and um, the corners are turned slightly upward. And it's almost like he's cooing. Like that's what I would imagine if he were a real baby making that facial expression. He would definitely be making some cooing sounds or whatever. But he has um, a little button nose. It's really cute with a wide bridge. And um, his nostrils turn downward, so you have to kind of get up underneath to see his uh, nostrils. Like, he doesn't have, like, a turned upward kind of nose. And then his cheeks are chubby, and they stick out from around his smile. Like, it's, it's so precious. And then he has this little double chin, and there's, like, a little tiny little indention in the middle of the chin. 
And then there's a fat roll that goes into the neck, which has another fat roll, which is so adorable. And then his ears um, are, um, they're not large, but they're not small ears. So they're just like a mid-range kind of ear. And they stick out from the head just a little bit. And the real baby Skylar's ears did the same thing. And so, um, precious, like this face is just precious. And so then we go down into his arms. Both arms are extended outward to give him this appearance like he's reaching. You know how babies will hold their arms out straight? And, or it looks like he might try to take off crawling. Like, it's just so, so precious. And then on his um, right hand, he has really nice nail beds. Um, the way his fist is shaped, his pinky is not connected to his hand. And his uh, ring finger and middle finger are um, smushed into his um, palm to the point where it leaves like a little indention. Like you can see the skin, the way it was sculpted. You can see where the finger is like touching into it. And then his um, ring finger or his index finger is resting on top of his thumb, which is in between the, the index finger and the middle finger. So that's the way that little fist is. And there's just all kinds of little skin folds and um, creasing and like handprint. Like he's got like these little markings in his palm. Like we have, you know, once again, the identifying prints that we have on our hands. And his um, left arm, even though it's straight, it's a little tiny bit bent. And both arms are chubby. Like there are little fat rolls that just go all the way down, starting from the shoulder. There's like a little tiny one by the shoulder and then another one right underneath that. And then there's one right above his elbow and then one right below his elbow. And then a little fat roll around the wrist and little creases around the wrist. And his little elbows have little indentions and creases around them. So they're like really pronounced little elbows. Um, but the right or the left arm is slightly bent, not much, just a little, but it's still extended outward. And then the fist on that hand, the um, ring finger and the pinky finger are extended outward. So they're not even touching the fist at all. And then the middle finger is um, gripping down into the palm once again. And the index finger is right beside it, but it's curled up really tightly. So you can't even see the um the nail on there and then his thumb lays over both of those fingers and the nail beds are just really really nice on him and so now let's talk about his little cloth body it's very appropriate for him for this you know six month size baby it has a gathered chest and it doesn't have the little tapered belly like archer's body does but it does come down into such a way where it looks like he has a belly, but it doesn't have the two tapered sides like Archer's does. And when you turn him around, he's got a gathered bum. He don't have quite as much booty as Archer does either. <laughs> he's, he's smaller than Archer. I actually compared them last night and I will do a comparison video so you can see, um, because I actually had a couple of people ask me what was the difference in their size. Um, so then we get down to his little chunky legs. They're like bent, um, like at an angle to where he would be crawling. And so the backs of his thighs and the backs of his calves actually touch each other partially, like not all the way down, of course, but like maybe two to three inches of the vinyl is connected there. And on each leg, he has um, a fat roll in the thigh, a fat roll at the knee, and then another little fat roll at the mid-calf. And then around each foot is just these little chubby little fat rolls. Once again, like, like Archer, he's got cankles and it's so adorable. And then on his right foot, he's got his big toe sticking straight up, basically. He's like flexing his foot. And then his other toes are pointing downward. And there's all kinds of cute little skin folds and creasings and all that on the bottom of his foot. And then on his left foot, he's got all of his toes scrunched downward. And he's even tilting the foot downward a little bit. And once again, all the little skin folds and, and um, 
lines and all that are in the pad of the foot and around the sides. Like ultra, ultra realistic. Love it. And there's no pronounced arch. Like he might have a tiny bit, but it's definitely not one you can see. And then on his toe, he's got a little teeny tiny scratch. So it's like if he were crawling around and he were barefoot and he would scratch his foot on something. So that's what it looks like. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you all that. But his painting details, you can see he's got a lighter complexion. He has mottling and veining. He has shading and creasing around all the little um, creases in the that's sculpted into the sculpt. And he has shading around his nose, um, around his eyes, his ears, all the right places they're shading. And um, there's veining. He has very, um, it's subtle veining, but you can see it. The doll that I did one time, like she had veins, but man, they were like, I don't know, oh, like a drum on there with a sharpie or something. <laughs> they were terrible. But yeah, these veins are perfect. So he's got that perfect little um, auburn redhead complexion, if that makes sense. Like Skylar wasn't the redhead that was snow white that couldn't get in the sun at all. He's the redhead that can slowly get a little bit of a tan when he gets in the sun. Now he does have freckles, but um, so do I. I have freckles and I'm darker complected. But um, but yeah, she did great capturing that um, like golden undertone that Skylar has to his skin. So yeah, I love it. And also, got to show you this. This is like, which I love all of his painting. But this is where she did Skylar's birthmark. She had me to send her a picture of Skylar's birthmark. And um, my son thought that was the weirdest thing. I was like, hey, send me a picture of your leg with your birthmark. And he was like, why? <laughs> so I told him why and he sent it. But she copied the shape of the birthmark. And um, I'll insert the picture here, but you can see it on her page. And you can also see it on my Facebook page because she tagged me in it. But you can see where she uh, copied Skylar's birthmark on his leg. And I mean, she got the shape on point. Like, it's like identical. <laughs> but yeah, he is absolutely perfect. I love him to pieces. So now we're going to get him dressed. finish off his look with these little sandals. These are size twos. So, um, they fit him. I mean, they're a little big, but they do fit him good. They're not like ridiculously big. They don't look like clown shoes or anything. I did have these, um, extended out because I had them on Archer's feet. And Archer's feet is significantly bigger. <laughs> So, oh my gosh, how precious can you be? So we're going to put his little dinosaur passy clip. <laughs> so there he is. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. I can't take it. I just can't take it. He's going to have to have a dinosaur stuffy. I don't have one at the moment, but I will find him one. So there's him a little puppy lovey. He can have that with him for now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love him to pieces. Love him, love him, love him. Well, that's all for today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Sweet Devin Schuyler. Get his little details shown to you and then changed into this cute little outfit that just looks so precious on him. I absolutely love it. See y'all in the next video. Bye.